Welcome to the New Zealand Rugby Foundation series called On the Bench. Uh, this year we're going to be bringing you a little bit of life beyond rugby with some of New Zealand's prominent rugby players. And today we're going to start off with uh, up-and-coming Blues star Steve Luatua. You all would have heard of him. Uh, loose forward and lock back in the day, but now predominantly a number six. Uh, he's had a stellar start to the season. He's taken some time out in their bye week to have a few words uh, to the foundation. So uh, hang around and we'll put some big questions to him shortly. I think um, there's a lot more clarity in our roles. Um, a lot of the boys, you know, we, we know what we have to do on the field and um, we're going out there and executing it. Um, I think just JK's um, awareness. Um, you know, he knows a lot of different cultures and he's trying to bring us on together. Um, I, know, I don't know if you guys know, but our families are taking care of a lot, taking care of a lot better now. Um, you know, we know that before and after the games, they've got their own little suite that they go to, a little room that we know that they're going to get taken care of. Um, and after the games, you know, there's the people we want to see because, you know, the people that matter to us. And so after the games, we go there and we, um, you know, we, sh we show that our love and appreciation towards them. Generally, that's, that's how it is anyways, if I don't play well anyways. Um, Dad's always pretty stern and um, so is Mum. But Mum's a lot more supportive, even if I <laughs> have a bad game. What is love? He puts it out there like a rhetorical question. I think, yeah, the first time I ever heard him speak, you know, that's the first thing that came out of his mouth. He was like, what is love? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, boys, I love this region. That's what I, I love this team. You know, that's what I want you guys to feel. And so when you put on that jersey, you know, um, respect it and cherish it. Nah, I reckon it's it's where it's at. You know, if you want to earn a fan, and um, especially what we want to do is we want to make our, our fans proud. You know, that's the kind of stuff. You know, we, we we enjoy doing, and that's how we do it. Um, getting on the community and whatnot, that's, that stuff. You know, puts us back into perspective and it gives us you know a bit of reality. And um, well, I really enjoy that kind of stuff. Families, you know, they kind of everything to me. Um, they kind of the base of my um guess of my foundation um, a lot of my motivation comes from them so and me getting smashed at preseason training and whatnot you know, I don't mind as long as at the, at the end of the day you know, I'm taking care of my family then it's all good nah it's between me and my agent I keep that between me and my agent <laughs> and then um, I tell my family after initially um, we just sat down and we had a plan like, and I thought that was real, real key for me um, we, we planned out uh, we have a plan that I'd like to stick to in terms of my rugby career and um, you know you kind of just set aside um, financial help and um, kind of just push me in the right direction in terms of what I want to do outside of my rugby as well um, always encouraging me to 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 push my my uni work as well and um, it's been real good in terms of contracting as well uh, I wouldn't have no idea what to do around those kind of around these paperworks and I just leave it to them and it's all good because that way I can just focus on my rugby and leave all the all that kind of stuff to him. I think they're, they're, their work revolves around the bigger contracting kind of stuff. Um, so they, they fight for us against, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> the NZIU. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, they really push for, I guess, rugby rights, um, rugby players' rights and, um, and, and the big contracting circles. And um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Initially, straight out of school, I actually wanted to become a cop, um, but because of the clash between rugby and whatnot, so that kind of put on a hold. And my second option was um, I want to be a, become a teacher eventually, so I'm um, doing those, these bachelor of sport papers, so eventually I can become a teacher. A phys ed teacher? Phys ed teacher. <laughs> At Mags? At Mags. <laughs> <laughs> if they, ha that, if they have me. <laughs> I mean, there's no point in having one and not having the other type thing. So if you're fit as hell and you go into the field and your technique's poor, then, you know, you're not going to do well. You're going to come away second best. And same thing the other way around. If you go on the field and your technique's great, but you're a bit unconditioned, you know, you're still going to get injured. So I think it's all it's all a balance. And, um, yeah, I think it's all pretty important. Yep, yep. I think that's pushed through the NZIU or the NZRPA. Um, 
they're, they're always coming I think once a year or different different start of every campaign and they, they give us the briefings on what happens if you get injured and how to support our families and whatnot so it's pretty pretty cool run <laughs> run and run do it. it makes a whole it makes it a whole lot easier when you're when you're that fit at that age you know what I mean because that way you can kind of progress higher and higher but I came into I don't know the blues last year and pretty bad Nick oh not bad Nick but just not up to scratch off the older boys and no I kind of regret not being as fit as as I should have been when I was younger so just run <laughs> <laughs> Just probably Jandals because I'll be on holiday. <laughs> Jandals in Australia, I'll be in Australia then. <laughs> Obviously, Jerome, Jerome Kino. Um, he is the man. My my f most favourite All Black, favourite Lucy. Um, just the way he held himself, even around the Blues area. I was fortunate enough that I didn't get to play with him last year. Hopefully, I get to do it in the future. But um, last, just the way he held himself around the park, and um, yeah, he's a real nice guy. Um, I guess I can say Tom Brady, New England Patriots quarterback. Oh, he's my favorite athlete outside of rugby. Just love the way he is. Um, I've seen a few documentaries on him as well, and he's just a uh, just a real professional in what he does. Real nice guy as well. <laughs>